Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. I was sent an audio today and I'm just going to share it with you. This is just going to be quick. I'm not quite sure of its authenticity, but it doesn't do any harm to share it. And I think regardless of the race that they're talking about in the audio, it could apply to any race. So I would use precautions. The same precautions that they're talking about, or even more so, not to authorise a contactless card. When they send you a contactless card, you can send it back and ask for a non-contactless card. Some people just find it easier to just swipe the card. They don't have to put a pin on it and stuff like that. And as long as it's less than £30. But the way I look at it is that if I lost my card, that person can keep getting £30 off of my card. It's £30 I don't want them to get and I can't afford to lose. So I refuse contactless cards. But anyway, we've heard of different scenarios how people use your contactless cards. But this is an unusual one that I'm going to share with you. So just listen, because it's not a visual um, recording, it's just an audio. Family and friends, this is a serious message. This is not no joke. A bus driver who I know uh, came into a shop today where I was and he said yesterday um, some Eastern um, Eastern European people, what they're doing, they're, they're coming on the buses or trains which are full and they are drawing out money from people's contactless card. They have the, con they have the card machine and they've already set it to maybe like £50 or £100, which they know most people would have that in their account. And they go up next to the next to the person and they, 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 they press the button or whatever and then they're drawing out money off people's card. So for all of, all of you that have contactless cards, he's saying to set your mobile, set the mobile phone or whatever it is, set it up to zero or to £1 or £2 minimum. So that when they go to access it, they can't get no money. This is not a joke. He came into the shop today and he's telling the people in the shop what happened yesterday on the bus. He's a bus driver. Yeah, so what they're doing, I'll tell you again what they're doing. They've already set their machine to maybe £50 or £100, something like that. And then they're going up to people when it's like crowded. They're going up close to the people, pressing the button and drawing money off their contactless card. Now, contactless doesn't affect me because I don't have contactless card. But for those who do, please set your card to minimum zero. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, so um, I didn't even know that you could set your card to zero. I mean, I thought it was £30 flat. But like I said, I don't have one. There might be an option to reduce the amount to less than £30. But what is the point of having one then? if you're going to reduce it, because the whole point is that you have it on call for when you need it. So um, what my other half does, he wraps it in foil and he puts it at the back of his um, rest of his cards and so they can't withdraw it. So that could be an alternative. They do have RFID protection um, pockets that you can put your cards in that can stop that kind of interference. But yeah, I think that is the best precaution to take. If that is happening, if people are walking around and nudging up to you and being able to get access to your contactless cards, it won't be funny if they're withdrawing that kind of money from it. But like I said, I thought it was only £30, and so I don't see how they can set it to £50 or £100. But anyway, like I said, I don't know the authenticity of it. I don't know where it came from. But I'm just sharing with it just in case, even if it's just to make you um, take more precaution with the contactless card you have and not take it for granted. Even if it's just that, this video is useful. Okay, bye-bye.